Aloha everyone, I'm Sharon from Sharon at Sea Travel. Recently we just went to Hawaii. We got back a couple weeks ago and we did all of our research before we left and made sure we brought everything we needed for our trip. And so I thought we would share with you the things that we thought were important. Um, and I've added a couple to the list, um, things that we found were really useful on this trip. So I've come up with 15 things that you're going to want to make sure you put on your packing list if you are traveling to Hawaii. If you enjoy travel and cruise vlogs, reviews and tips, please consider subscribing to our channel and click the notification bell so you will get notified when we post new content. Now back to the tips. All right, number one, insect repellent. Make sure you bring some kind of insect repellent with you. It's very inexpensive to purchase before you go. Um, throw it in your luggage. This is just a travel size. Uh, it's 2.5 ounces, and we've barely used half of this for the family of three while we were there, but it came in very handy. There are so many outdoor activities to do, walking, hiking around. Um, it's very moist there, and there are a lot of mosquitoes and bugs when you're climbing up on the mountains, like up in Diamond Head, um, going out to see the waterfalls, things like that. So I highly suggest you put this on before you go so you don't get all bitten up and make your, the rest of your trip miserable. Um, now, if you're sensitive to something like this, bug sprays, um, they do make a wristband that you can purchase. Uh, they advertise that they last about 300 hours. Um, personally, I have not used them, but I'm just kind of mentioning that as an alternative for people that are sensitive, maybe young children. Um, they get kind of mixed reviews. Some people say they work great. Some people say not so great. So um, you could be the judge of that if you want to try them out. But I will post a link um, in the description below of the wristbands because you can purchase them on Amazon. Next, make sure you bring some reef safe sunscreen. Now I know you can purchase it there if you're trying to save space in your luggage, but things are very, very expensive in Hawaii. So I highly suggest you bring it with you. Um, there's a lot of marine life there. So you want to make sure you get reef safe sunscreen, bring it along with you. Um, it, it's, cloudy in Hawaii sometimes. A lot of times people don't realize how sunburned you can get when it's cloudy, but you can get really sunburned. I know we had 50 um, SPF on and we still got a little sunburn on our shoulders on a cloudy day. So make sure you bring your sunscreen. Number three, make sure you bring some kind of light rain jacket or poncho. This will come in very handy in Hawaii as um, it rains pretty much every day, for, sometimes just for a short time. A cloud may just kind of blow over, drop a few sprinkles and move on. Other times they can turn into flash floods. I know we were recently in Hawaii and we hit during a horrible storm, but I know our poncho rain jackets uh, came in very handy, as well as umbrellas. It wouldn't hurt to throw an umbrella in as well because those are kind of nice sometimes to carry if you're walking downtown shopping and things like that, um, to just kind of have them on hand in case you come out of a store and it's, it starts to rain, you know, you have your umbrella. So make sure you bring some sort of coverage that you can kind of keep with you um, in case you get caught up in a little rain. I know our jackets and our poncho are the kind that kind of folded up really small. We were able to just stick them in a backpack. So that came in very handy. Next, make sure you bring some sort of backup power source. I know I have this little pink um, power source here that I can charge things on. Um, when you're out and about, you may be out for hours, your phone dies, your camera batteries, things start to go low, and um, you're going to need something. You're going to be taking a lot of pictures. Hawaii is beautiful. You're going to want to make sure your batteries stay charged. Also, you may want to use your phone for Google Maps to kind of get you around the island. You can log into that, log, there's some also web, some special websites you can log into that will actually kind of just take you on a tour around the island. So you're going to definitely want to have your phone charged up. Speaking of power sources, make sure you bring something like this. This is made by Tron. This has worked like a charm for us. There's USB ports, other electrical outlets, um, and a lot of the hotels in Hawaii um, are older. There are some newly remodeled ones, but some of the older ones, of course, don't have all the electrical outlets and you may find yourself having to take turns charging things. So make sure you bring something like this and you won't have a problem keeping your things charged. 
Another important thing to put on your list is a water resistant backpack. You know, Hawaii, you're out and about exploring and you know, the backpack comes in very handy. And with it being a little wet there sometimes, a little rain, being water resistant or waterproof doesn't hurt. Especially if you have a lot of electronics like we always have. So here's an option. This is one, we used, used to use Oryx then and we have a couple Oryx and bags which work great. Um, they're water resistant and um, actually I would say almost waterproof because I've gotten this thing wet multiple times and it has not got anything inside wet before. But they fold up nicely and you can throw them in your luggage and so that works great. Um, for our recent Hawaii trip we tried this one um, called Max Top. It um, comes out to and it's just kind of like a regular size backpack. This is what we carried all the camera equipment in and everything and it got in multiple <laughs> rainstorms. If you watch any of our videos you'll see um, how much rain we got into and it was awesome. Nothing got wet so it worked great. Um, both of these you can purchase on Amazon and I will put links in the description box below for these as well. Next I'm gonna say make sure you bring some kind of athletic shoes, maybe high, even hiking boots um, or even athletic sandals of some sort. Water shoes you're going to need these. Going to Hawaii, um, there's a lot of activities that include water, include hiking, um, you know, just a lot of walking around and hiking around. Uh, one thing that I might recommend, now I will say I did not take these to Hawaii with me, but when I go back I'm definitely taking these because I just received them, uh, are these a liter water sandals. So these are awesome. Look at this color. It's the new rainbow color. Is that not cool or what? Um, so they have a rugged, I don't know if you can see it in the picture, they're kind of very rugged on the bottom. So um, they would be perfect for kind of hiking around. They're a canvas type kind of material here which can get wet. They have a Velcro opening so they're kind of adjustable. So um, I think these will be great. I also have a pair here in olive green as well. They come in multiple colors but um, I think these are going to be great for summer, great for a lot of activities, and I, I think they would be great for Hawaii. So I just thought I would share these with you. Um, I know we, um, oh, and by the way, there's a link in the description below on these as well. Um, you can go to aleader.com, and if you want to purchase these, you can get a 15% discount if you put in the discount code Sharon Asmus 15 It's in the description box. Um, but when we went to Hawaii, uh, we brought our tennis shoes. We also had water shoes, and we did great with those. Um, I would not recommend flip-flops for hiking around. Of course they're great for the beach, maybe if you're around, you know, just kind of walking around town, but if you're going to be hiking around in Hawaii, you definitely need something with some grip on the bottom, um, like an athletic type shoe. Next, make sure you bring a beach towel. I know, you're thinking, you don't need a beach towel, the hotel has beach towels. Um, well, if you're at an all-inclusive or maybe on a cruise ship, yeah, they supply the beach towels and you could probably take their towels off to the beach with you because it's right there by the hotel. Uh, but most of the hotels in Hawaii, they kind of frown on you taking their towels off the property down to Waikiki Beach and, and things like that or off on tours. So bring your own beach towel. Um, also, if you're staying at an Airbnb or a condo, they may not have beach towels. So bring a beach towel. You'll be happy you did. And there may be other situations you run into that you can use that beach towel as well. Like for us, we were just taking an island tour and we were hanging out down on a rock by the beach and I got blasted with water. So <laughs> that towel came in very handy. Next, a swimsuit. That one needs no explanation, right? You're in Hawaii, of course you need a swimsuit. Another thing on my list is a waterproof phone case. You are surrounded by water in Hawaii and you want to make sure you keep your phone safe. So you can get something, maybe purchase something like this that you can put your phone in. Um, also, we picked up these. This is for a phone size. And it has a little Velcro closure here. We actually got these and there's all different sizes. We picked these up at TJ Maxx for like five bucks, all three of them, around the holidays. So that's another option as well. But make sure you keep your phone protected. Next, bring some kind of GoPro or underwater camera. Uh, there are so many beautiful things underwater in Hawaii, you are definitely not going to want to miss them. 
Another thing I would highly suggest you bring is some kind of little first aid kit. Um, every time we travel, we bring a little first aid kit with us, just kind of a little portable one, and I've sometimes thrown a few extra little things in there that I think we might need. And to be honest, we never use it. But in Hawaii, this last trip we made, it was the first time I think that I can remember we actually used our first aid kit. And I was so glad I threw it in my backpack when we were driving around the island. Um, we weren't even doing anything that active, but I got hurt. I, I, I decided to stand on a rock. A wave blasted me, pushed me down. I fell, cut my foot. Um, you know, so I was glad I had that first aid kit, had some bandages and some things to clean up with. So always bring your first aid kit. Another thing that can come in really handy in Hawaii is a headlamp. So, um, you know, you put it on. It comes in really handy if you're doing any kind of um, hiking or you want to get out early um, to see the sunrise. So a lot of times people will leave really early in the morning to see the sunrise and then maybe go up to Diamond Head. And when you're walking out there, it's, a, it's still a little dark. Um, so something like this comes in really handy to kind of see to get around just to help prevent you from falling, tripping over a rock or something, and having an accident. So it comes in very handy, and they're so little. You can just kind of throw them in your bag. And last but not least, a reusable water bottle. Make sure you bring a reusable water bottle. I mean, it's cost effective for one thing, but you're going to need, need it. Um, the water, as you're hiking around, doing activities, excursions in Hawaii, you want to stay hydrated and bringing a reusable water bottle, you can fill it back up. A lot of places will have areas you can refill it, um, so you don't need to worry about running out of water, and it stays cold. So make sure you bring your water and stay hydrated. Hope these tips are helpful if you're planning a trip to Hawaii soon. Maybe there's some that you can add to your list that you haven't added yet. Thanks for watching, and safe travels.